and a historian will only know in the future, only the outcome will determine. But I think what this week has shown is that profound changes have happened. The two things about these riots. The first is, in one sense, they're completely superficial. Somebody brilliantly put it there, it's shocking with violence. It's merely extended commercialism. I think, mean, for me, the key image was the woman coolly trying on a pair of trains outside a looted shop. So that's one aspect of it. The other, though, I think there has been a profound cultural change. I've just been rereading Enoch Powell, The Rivers of Blood speech. His prophecy was absolutely right in one sense. The Tiber didn't foam with blood, but flames lambent, wrapped around Tottenham and wrapped around Clapham. But it wasn't intercommunal violence. This is where he was completely wrong. What's happened is that the substantial section of the Chads that you wrote about have become black. The whites have become black. A particular sort of violent, destructive, nihilistic, gangster culture has become the fashion. And black and white, boy and girl, operate in this language together. This language, which is wholly false, which is a Jamaican patois, that's been intruded in England. And this is why so many of us have this sense of literally a foreign country. In that speech, Enoch Powell talks about 15 or 20 years time, the black man having the whip hand over the white man. That's not true. What's happened is black culture. This is an enormously important thing. It's not skin color, it's cultural. Listen to David Lanny, an archetypical, successful black man. If you turn the screen off, so you were listening to him on radio, you'd think he was white. You know, I'm telling you, absolutely, absolutely um, not at all, really. You know, of all the theories we've heard this, this week, this whole notion that this is down to the way that some young people may choose to speak, that people, I suppose, that the people, David, like myself, who may be talking a particular way, that's you why we've got to fight them. You don't talk like them. Then, if it's, um, this is the problem, is that them and us culture, we can't keep thinking of this as a them and us argument. We keep talking about different communities. You keep talking, David, about black culture. Black communities are not homogenous well, groups. So I there think. are black cultures, yet lots of different black cultures. What we need to be doing is we need to be thinking about ourselves as not individual communities, as one community. Mm -hmm. We need to stop talking about them and us. We need to be talking about our children. We need to be using words like we and stop putting this blame on different people. The blame culture has got to stop. We've got to face head on. Just what the you are. That, when you're saying that uh, white culture has adopted black culture, so are you saying that has been at the heart of the rioting? Is, is it black culture that has caused rioting? Yeah, remember, what we're dealing with, listen to these boys. Listen to... I think you should answer the question, David. Is that what they're calling rioting? This is the text sent by the girl who had been the Olympic ambassador, who then engages in shocking acts of looting. They shouldn't have killed that guy last night in it. Then they wouldn't get blown up. Girls going to steal, wheeze. But it's stealing Dewey, the shopkeeper ain't fucked their mugs. And now, what's the what's, what's the outrageous, obviously, what you're saying? What you're doing is you're equating black commonality. No, you are. Let me finish. 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 Let me finish huge contribution, our music and, and, and a whole range of cultural ways. You glorify rap? Well, I actually, David, I, I use rap. rap. David, I use rap in schools rap. to teach children literary devices, and it is a fantastic oh, way. It's a really rap with uh, rioting on the streets. Is that what you well, think? Well, it glorifies it. You look at rap, rap actually, it glorifies some rap. If you look at their videos, actually, it reinforces the materialistic world that, that, that of course that we live in. When was the last time you watched a rap video or looked at a rap song? Tell me about a rap artist, David. I'm genuinely curious to know about this because, you know, you're a historian, you deal with empirical evidence, you, you base yes. your I theories on evidence. Mm -hmm. But I think explain what your evidence is before you make, frankly, what a lot of viewers will find offensive general.
polarization. I think in, uh, th these are times when we need plain speaking, and plain speaking is necessary. You remember, right? Like, yeah, I'm going to give you them. If you will stop interrupting, you're getting a sort of doing a Cheney Jeremy Paxman. Um, the, uh, I took part in Jamie's Green School. I was involved in this. We used RUP. We used RUP to explore particular notions of masculinity, of violence, of dominance, of uh, the, the relationship between old aristocratic violent practice and modern gang culture. So um, we very it's interesting. It is historically interesting. So when we when we look at the facts, just bringing this back to the writing, when we look at the facts, clearly it was not a riot that was only dominated by black people. It was uh, there were many white people. We see in the train of the yeah, it, Are you it saying that it started as a black protest about the killing of a black man? So can we just have that fact? Absolutely. So a peaceful, peaceful protest. It's actually a community protest. It very quickly ceased to this. I'm right, I'm right. Okay. Okay. We've got to understand in Tottenham in particular, okay, where look, in this country, black people are 30 times more likely to be stopped and searched. In the whole number, in Tottenham, one in two people, let me finish. 80% of the people are black. People. One in two people are black. One in two kids in Tottenham grow up. Yeah. In poverty, I know. and there's a sense of harassment by the police, and this is just the latest, let's not forget, in an example of a civilian mm. killed in very dubious circumstances. And what and the ICC yeah. originally came up with that, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, David Cameron has just been up there, this wasn't about race at all, he thinks it's about crime, crime. No, he says crime, actually. Let's look at the the damage to the social fabric in terms of what they said. You talked about shopping, you know, the sort of shopping violence. Shopping with violence, yeah. Do you, do you think, Drina, that this is part of an acquisitive culture, that, that sort of endless consumerism? In my endless rioting, it was rioting with a very, so, we, we, we are the society, we, we've tripped ourselves up because what have we emphasized to our children in terms of success? Success equals money. That's what we've been saying to our children for such a long time. Success equals money. So is it any wonder that it, it was all about materialism. And you know, if you think about it, we, we, we've had a recession. One of the issues about recession is about the way that banks behave. We let our banks off, basically. See, I don't, 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 now, if you get a real political outbreak, public buildings are attacked. Can we just, can we just move on? So, so, so that kind of protest is okay. No, it's not okay. I, mean, I don't actually think that direct. I don't think there is a human. I don't think there is a human right to riot. And uh, no, there's a right to yes, protest. Yes. But can we just sort of try and turn this around? I am not attacking these groups. I am. What do you mean by no, these groups? I was sort of for us. What do you mean by these groups? So please, why? You correctly say, these people feel excluded, they're poor, they can't get jobs, they're searched by the police. Now, why is it that these groups, particularly in these areas, you were saying, wow, I don't want to say something. Can we just look at the answers? Can we just look at the answers? I was on my way to you. Can we just look at the answers? Okay, I'm going to stop this here, because you are using black and white culture interchangeably as good Then that is enough to cause chaos on the street. And unless we 
Thank you all very much indeed. We've run out of time again.